I'm going to be jur junk journaling and scrapbooking at the same time on my junk journal. So we're just going to be making a vintage themed page. So let's get started. So I have this vintage paper. Um, I might have shown you guys in my stationery haul or maybe not. But this is going to be our main supply for making this page. So. We're going to be tearing it in pieces and putting it on different parts of the journal with the help of a glue stick. When you're junk journaling, you don't need to plan out where you want to have every single thing on. So I'm just going to be placing junk everywhere. In different directions and different places. I don't use a junk journal once in a month or once in a, once in two months. So I don't junk journal that much, but it's still fun because you can do whatever you want without worrying about it not looking nice. Because when you jump journaling, you can put anything wherever you want. So I'm not going to be writing anything that much important, just a simple vintage code. So now that I've glued every single thing in place, I'm going to be securing them. Even though we have just teared them apart. So now that is done, I'm going to bring out another color. I think purple will look nice. So I'm going to take a piece of crumbly purple paper and we're also going to be tearing this down and placing it on the journal. Once again, anywhere it looks nice. So this one I think is going to look nice over here or over, yeah, it'll look nice over here. And there you go. And then turn it apart even more. Blowing it up. And pasting it in place. Voila. But I think I should add a little bit more tinier pieces. Now it looks like junk. Now I'm just going to bring in my markers and add in a few tiny details. Oh my gosh, what happened to you? Anyways, we're not going to do any of that. So can Color. 
going to join movies. Everywhere. But before I need to fix this lip. And now it works perfectly fine. I'm gonna add one more of those floral doodles right here. And how can anyone forget to add sparkles? Also, I am obsessed with sparkles, just like crystals. By now, you guys would have probably been, have guessed it because I've used them in every single video of mine, except a few. By the way, you guys can give me video ideas or you can tell me whatever video you guys want to watch next because I'm running out of ideas. And there you go. Silver sparkles done. But there's still not enough sparkles so we're going to add black sparkles. Wow. Sparkle addict. Nothing new. Okay, there you go. And now I'm going to be making um some blocks. Let me show you what I'm trying to talk about. So this is me jump journaling when I was like 12 a year ago. So I'm going to be making the same things as these over here. So let's make them. I'm going to be taking my brown brush pen. With the help of this brush pen, we're going to make them. So I'm going to be drawing one over here. But this time, not a brush pen, a watercolor marker. I'm going to draw mm -hmm. beside it. And wow, this is the most beautiful page I've ever created in my junk journal, honestly speaking. And now for the coat. Um, since we're junk journaling and junk journaling is related to chaos, I'm gonna write a coat by Bob Tyler. Chaos is a friend of mine over here. We're going to be lettering them without chaos. By the way, are you guys watching any web series or cartoon series nowadays? 
I'm watching Miraculous Ladybug. Well, re watching Miraculous Tales of Ladybug and Caterpillar. Write the comment section down below which web series are you guys watching? Page, I'm going to write another quote related to junk journaling or leakage. Hmm. How about we write a simple quote? I wouldn't say simple because it's not that simple. It's a very long quote. I do not know whose coat is this. Once again, we're going to be lettering this, but this time with a brush pen. Also, how many of you guys are into calligraphy? A year ago, I was so into photography, I used to do it whenever I used to get free time. Now, I didn't do it that much, and I literally forgot every single thing about it. Also, many of you guys are wondering where I got my journal from in my stationery haul video. I got it from Shanghai Plaza China Market. I literally took me an hour to find the cutest journal in the whole plaza. But at last, I finally found it. It was the perfect one. And I'm going to be adding some tiny sparkly dots. Just add a little bit there. And then with this glitter pen. Also, black one should not cross out. But you can find these types of glitter pens everywhere, but these are not the best quality. If you want to buy glitter pens that are of much better quality, you can find them on AliExpress or Duras or Etsy. But here you go. Finally done. There are some things that I just need to fix. But since this is junk journaling, we don't need to fix them. And there we go. We have a beautiful yet messy spread in our junk journal. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash that like button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.